Hey, what's up Cassies? It's Kiwi here and today I'm going to share a few tips and tricks with you all starting with one that will break almost every special attack in the game and every Dynasty Warrior style Misu attack in the game. So without further ado, here it is. It's the Triple Thrift Team. Triple Thrift Team, yeah. It's just what we're going to call it. So how this works is... If you have three thrift users, all with their proficiency at S and equipped with the concentration belt at plus 20, this will restore the Musu back to full before the animations end. So, it only works with some specials because some specials animations are really quick. But, um, all the Musu attacks, all the DW Musu attacks are long enough for it to restore by the time it's done. So yeah. Go have fun with this, and we'll move on to the next one. Sweet, so moving along to our next one, we have the Alacrity attribute. And if you're all wondering why it's here, that's because the description is wrong. Instead of giving you the winged boots, it actually gives the uh, restore health and restore musu for your entire party. Which is very, very nifty for those who can hit 500 combo quite easily. Yes, I'm looking at you Zushu, I'm looking at you. So basically what happens is on the 500 mark, not only will it restore the Musu and health of yourself, but it will also do it for the rest of your team. Yeah, that's pretty much it for this one. Sweet, so here we have a nice simple one for those of you who are looking for fancier weapons. Or attributes without having to set foot on a battlefield to find them and this is done by simply checking the blacksmith stock for fancy weapons and if he has none you need to now save the game in the camp like so and then do a soft reset by pressing the option and pad button at the same time or just by quitting to the main menu so now that we're back at the main menu, let's go to resume and the blacksmith should have new stock. And that's pretty much it for this one, so let's move along. Sweet, so here's a tip and a trick in the same one. The tip is to use survival and dual mode to gain XP because the XP accumulates. And what I mean by this is if you did... Uh, 30 rounds and gained 80k XP, when you lose and hit that rematch, you can lose the next fight and still get that 80k from the last fight you did. So basically what I'm saying is win 30 fights, uh, lose that match on purpose, hit that rematch button and then don't, don't even fight, just lose this match and you'll still get the XP from the previous 30 fights. And then you hit rematch again and forfeit or lose the next match on purpose and rematch, lose the next fight, rematch, lose the next fight, rematch, lose the next fight and just keep doing that over and over again. Just rematch and then lose and you'll keep getting that uh, 80k every single time. Anyway, before I uh, move on, here is the trick to beating this mode. A team of power types will always do the trick, but if for some reason it doesn't, you can always use Zeng Kai, who has the ability to auto-block with her shield and also block during her attacks, making her a beast for this mode because you're only fighting uh, one enemy at a time and you're not getting flanked from the sides of the back. So, I do recommend using her straight off the bat if you have her, otherwise three power team, uh, sorry, three power characters will work just fine. Sweet, so the next tip is for EXP farming in gauntlet mode. And what you want to do is pick small stages in gauntlet mode that are easy to navigate so you can find purple portals and offices easily. Because the purple portals give you XP fever and the officers should have peons with them. So if you've done everything I just mentioned above, you will gain a lot of EXP in a short time. Sweet, so this next tip is for finishing Gauntlet Mode quickly. So the fastest way to beat Gauntlet Mode is to unlock the Solstice Formation, which takes you straight to the exit portal. 
Now you unlock this upon acquiring 95 recruitments in Gauntlet Mode which can easily be obtained before you beat Gauntlet Mode for the first time. Or you can use a formation that has Demon Eye which shows you the exits but doesn't take you there. And you get one, I think it's unlocked at 60 recruitments. So yeah. You'll get that one before you get Solstice anyway, so you might as well slap that on as soon as you get it until you get Solstice. So, moving along. Okay, by now I assume most people know that the first DLC stage, Mount Zheng Shi, will give you crazy XP slash growth points. But did you know that the chests in the stage drop sworn ally items doesn't sound like that big of a deal, right? Well, what if I added it only drops the ones for the characters you haven't unlocked yet? In Gauntlet Mode, that's right, the DLC Stage 1 is the ultimate character unlocking level for Gauntlet Mode. No more wasting tons of keystones altering these freaking battlefields. But, there's a but, there's a catch. You need to finish Gauntlet Mode at least once before you can unlock this. But if you just want the EXP, there is a DLC stage called Anegawa, which is the first stage that has DLC written on it. Now this stage will give you great EXP, but no sworn allies. So if you're just looking for EXP, but don't need sworn allies, this is the stage you can use as an alternative. Cool, so while we're on the uh, subject of DLC, the last DLC stage on the list in the bottom right hand side will give every one of the party members their mystic weapon. And it can be finished very quickly, so if you're a trophy hunter, this will make life a lot easier for you. No more doing obscure tasks and missions to acquire a semi-decent weapon because this stage can be done in under 5 minutes. Sweet, so this tip is about the attribute procurement which can be put on your weapon. And this is good for all types of farming because it doubles the amount of items dropped by an enemy whether it be an XP drop, an item drop or a weapon drop. It even works for orbs in Gaunt mode. And it works especially well with XP fever which will double the amount of XP you would normally get from it. So. This is actually the end of this tips and tricks. I hope you all enjoyed it. If you did, that's awesome. Don't forget to hit that like button, hit that subscribe button if you haven't already, and yeah, drop a comment below. Tell me your tips and tricks for this game. If we get enough, I'll probably create a new video. I guess I'll leave it here, man. I'll catch you cousins in the next one, eh? See you.